Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, back with more Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. Alright, we are in the special report, Parting Ways. Part 1 is Suspicion. Um, we, we know what's, what's happening. We, we can p piece things together. We know Faldio learned what happened. We know he's probably the one who shot her. And we, well, we know this. Welkin doesn't, so we're going to find out how Welkin learns this. Sir, may I come in? Greece. any results on that thing I asked you to look into? Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Gallian sniper rifle. See, so Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Kalian force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It. Tell me, Kreese. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzip checked out the rifle. What? Faldio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle, so the clerk remembered him. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanza and has yet to be returned. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Valdio? It couldn't be. So, we've learned how it came about. Folio checked out a sniper rifle, which, yeah, I can see that. It's like, it's rare for a tank commander to check out a sniper rifle. Really? Because I'm going to be sniping from the top of my tank. So, next part is the truth. Not that we don't know what the truth is at this point. It's... I mean, several people called it, so... Hey, Faldio, you in? I guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyra. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I had never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyra's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the darks and calamity, and how their actions forever scorch the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyra invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous darks and people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land, burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. 
Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrer became godlike saviors. The victors simply rewrote the history books. The Barius ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyrer's power, the true face of these saviors, left me stunned. Yet at the same time, I cannot help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrer I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrer must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrer stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined Ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrer of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyria's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt, hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. Faldio! And Welkin loses his shit. Uh, not on... Not unexpected. I mean, you find out your best friend killed your would-be, or tried to kill your would-be girlfriend. Yeah. Hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Faldio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verrat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. <sighs> so, yeah, that's... I mean... Faldo wrote his report, and the fact that we learned the truth about the Valkyria, that they were not, in fact, saviors, they are terrible, terrible human beings. Uh, and that uh, history is written by the victors is no, you know, no more pronounced than this. That, that's, that is the definition. It's like, you, you have an entire world believing this, this lie because you were the, the winner. And the loser has not enough uh, credibility to, to, you know, to clear their own name. So everyone believes the Darksons were, you know, some terrible... But no, it's it's the Valkyria that everyone, you know, heralds as a... Uh, that, that's, that's the sort of thing that just bothers me about history, is it is written by the victors. So the last bit, confrontation. So I have a feeling uh, Welkin is going to give Valthio a very big piece of his mind. Valthio, I'm only going to ask you this once. Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. <laughs> Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. 
How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. That's enough. Listen to each other. You may both be right. But still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Galleon military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. Twenty-four hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. <sighs> I love that. Fisticuffs. Engaging in fisticuffs. Ah. Uh. Chapter 15. Citadel Girlandio. Citadel Girlandio. A uh, new episode has been added. Personnel tab is upgraded. Weaponry tab. Glossary. New skirmish battle has been added. Alright, let's go take a look at some of this before we start this chapter. Because um, there's going to be a lot to it. Uh, what is the skirmish battle that we've got open to us? Uh, Windmill Plaza? Okay, so we can redo that skirmish battle to take back... Um, uh, Brule. So that's good. I have not done the Cloden Wildwood or Upper Fausen at all. Um, yeah. Not really worthwhile for me, I'm just gonna say. So we're gonna return to headquarters, and we're going to see what we can deal with upgrade-wise. Um, go to the R&D facility, because we've got a ton of money. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, what do we got? Let's just go ahead and upgrade everything we can. And... Added effect. We're not gonna do that. But I like having the option. I'm never gonna use any of these, but I like having the option. Uh, I, I mostly go for accuracy, because as we've seen, accuracy is really... kind of the biggest thing that we need to, to focus on. Accuracy is, is, is it. Alright, so we have the Enhanced Mortar, and then the Firepower Boost. Uh, we're gonna go for the Firepower Boost, because, yeah. Versus Armor, an extra hundred, you know, that would have been useful last mission. Uh, Alright, what do we got for Sniper Rifles? Anything? Nothing for Sniper Rifles. Anything for Flamethrowers? Added effect. Oh, damn! I am out of money. I that's interesting. I I I very rarely run out of money. I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of uh, yeah. I don't have the money for any of this. So we've got. I'm I'm gonna have to start uh, picking and choosing what I want to upgrade from now on. We've got uniform upgrade eight, which means we'll probably have blast suit upgrade eight. What do we have for the Edelweiss? <coughs> I really hate this cough. Alright, uh, we have anti-armor shell. Okay, so extra damage. Lots of extra damage, can't afford it. Spare tread drive system. That I'm still not... And expanded capacity, so ammo plus two. And it's a two by three block, so... Hmm... Because I've got the one by two block. That's... Yeah. Uh, what do we have for the Shamrock? So yeah, I'm going to have to do some of these... Uh, I'm going to have to do some skirmishes to, to build up some money. We've got a mortar upgrade for the Shamrock, finally. So that's good. Uh, spare tread. And expanded capacity. So... 
Yeah, I'm 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 surprised. I'm running out of money. It's I, I kinda figured it was only going to be a matter of time before I ran out of money. And then we've got Castle Front Street, which I don't think I have enough money to actually hey. give her anything. So Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad Seven, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. I I are you talking about Alicia? I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Okay. Alright, so Clash and Nagir concludes. Refugee issue crosses borders. Da, 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 da. Got new material. Alright, so... Holy crap, yes. Signs of Awakening, What Lies Beyond Hate, Flower of the Battlefield. That piece is on Welkin. Piece is on Captain Verrat. That piece is on Alicia. We want that one. Because that will actually give Alicia... Um... A potential. Uh, we'll have to read it, but come back and see the right. That yeah, that'll give. And let's check out the war cemetery and see if the aged veteran is able to teach us anything new. Hello. I'm nope. sorry, but I can think of no orders to teach you. My mem I hope we'll meet. I think I don't think we've learned all of the orders we can from him. I think we're still missing a couple. Alright, let's go to the audience hall and see what we get from the princess. Princess Queen Queen Prince I, I forget what her actual rank is or her title. Highness, it's an Alright, what do we get? Oh hey! Nagyar, and that's, I love how it has Nagyar written on it, and it's got the little trenches. Alright, so, we get a royal award. You, <coughs> a machine gun? What is this? Mag's M3R. Oh, hey! A new lance! Lansar M3R. Alright, let's go equip those, and that'll be the end of this episode, and then we'll start the next bit. Um, I, I may... I may do some, uh, some skirmish off-screen to make sure I get everything taken care of. Alright, so... It's the... Mag's M3R is the new one that we got? And then we got the ZM. It's like it's got crap aim, but just slightly higher damage. But ah, uh, actually, it's got the same aim, just crap range. So yeah, we're not gonna deal with that. Uh, we will go ahead and give. Uh, we'll give Jane. Give Jane one, and we'll give. ED1 and we'll give Selena Swan and we're good and we got Alex I don't know if now that does more damage versus armor but eh, it's fine it's fine all right and then Largo we got Oh, that's right. It does. It's like I've got. It does 1,300 damage to armor, but it's got better aim. That I probably should have used that, but does less damage. That's why I haven't used that. Cause it's like 200 damage lower. Better range, better aim. That probably would have helped out in the last fight. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. But, no. Alright, so that should be everything. Yeah, so, um... I will exit the barracks, and uh, I'll go ahead and, as I said, I'll end this episode here. And we will start the next chapter. Uh, chapter 15. New report, personnel, more updates. So yeah, um... See you guys in the next installment. So till then... Later, everyone.